It's the 10th of October and this video is being released 2 hours before the Robot Taxi event. So I'm going to try to guess what Elon is going to present today. Are we finally going to see self-driving cars? Something he has been promising since 2014. Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. Like so 90% of your miles could be on auto. You know, for sure highway uh, travel. We're probably only a month away from having uh, autonomous driving, at least for highways. And then in 2019, he said, I feel very confident predicting uh, autonomous robot taxis for Tesla next year. Well, since Elon is late for over a decade, let's try to guess what they're gonna present today. One of the things I think Elon's gonna present is that he is going to be in a large parking lot and a Model 3 will probably drive all the way where Elon is standing. Smart summon. And I gotta tell you, I have been absolutely blown away by the improvements I'm seeing. The key word here is blown away. I can't believe these guys are driving these cars in public with a bunch of pedestrians around. Squeezing its way through here, even while there's pedestrians walking around it, which is something the previous version struggled quite a bit So Elon with. is probably gonna remake this just in the Warner Brothers studio, where this is gonna be shown. I'm guessing he's gonna be sitting in the car while the car is driving around. As that is happening, Elon is probably gonna say that see, we have already smart summon in 2024. While Tesla is showing off this on a Hollywood stage, Waymo is out there already offering services and has reached over a hundred thousand drives per week. You know, we've reached over a hundred thousand uh, rides per week across San Francisco. Phoenix and Los Angeles. So Tesla is so far behind from Waymo. How the hell are they gonna catch up? The Verge also reports that Tesla has been mapping the area where the robo taxi event will happen. So why are they mapping the area if they said that Tesla can do it with vision only? That's because they can't. And they used to say that Tesla don't need it. Here is Andre Kapathy explaining. All you want to get to work is vision. All the resources are on it and you're building out a data engine and you're actually making forward progress because that is the, uh, the um, sensor with the most bandwidth, the most constraints in the world. And you're investing fully into that and you can make that extremely good. So if that's true, why are they mapping the area where they will present robot taxi? Doesn't look like it's going so well. And they need additional sensors and more data. You know why I think they have to map the area? It's because Google Maps isn't perfect everywhere and it makes mistakes. Like on this video that I found online, where a U-turn is not allowed, but on the map it's telling him to take a U-turn. This is why Waymo mapped everything and put in so many sensors so you can see three fields ahead of it. To three football fields in any direction, all around it in milliseconds to a high degree of accuracy. The system calculates the predicted future behavior for each relevant agent in the scene. Then, with a strong foundation derived from artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms, the Waymo driver crunches all that data. So Waymo is doing all of that just to keep the safety on top. How is Tesla gonna compete with this? Yet, there's more. Learn as it goes. Is trained and tested on scenarios that it's never seen before. And can differentiate safe and comfortable driving behaviors from hazardous and uncomfortable ones. Waymo is just adding layers and layers of safety so the car travels around our complicated cities. Once the Waymo driver has determined the path to take, our advanced motion control systems allow for smooth acceleration and braking on hilly streets or managing bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic with safe and natural driving movements. Google Maps is not perfect and this is what Tesla is relying on. And since AI is not intelligent, you have to map the areas. Exactly what they figured out in 2024. Something Waymo knew long time ago. I think this debate is uh, always like slightly confusing to me because it seems like the actual debate should be about like, do you have the fleet or not? That's like the really important thing about whether you can achieve a really good functioning of an AI system at this scale. So data collection uh, systems. Yeah, do you have a fleet or not is significantly more important whether you have LiDAR or not. It's just another sensor. So if LiDAR is just another sensor, why did Tesla buy over 2 million worth of LiDAR sensor in 2021? So is Tesla doing now what Waymo is doing? While well, Elon said in 2019 that Tesla has everything to achieve full self-driving. 
all cars being produced have the have all the hardware necessary compute and otherwise for full self-driving after he said this he went out and bought lidar and was the biggest customer of luminar this article is to 2024 i'll say that again all tesla cars being produced right now have everything necessary for full self-driving all you need to do is improve the software and he even doubled down on the bullshit and what did Elon say about LiDAR in 2019? LiDAR is a fool's errand. And anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Doomed. Expensive sensors that are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, now they want to put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. Yes, it's ridiculous. And then he becomes the biggest customer from Luminar. Relying on LiDAR is doomed. Doomed. Expensive sensors that are unnecessary. You can't make this stuff up. Up. And people in the comment section are telling me I'm a hater. I'm gonna, LiDAR is doomed. Doomed. It yes, I'm just a hater and LiDAR is doomed. The thing that's, I think, a very powerful, sustainable advantage for us is the fleet. Nobody has the fleet. So they have a gigantic fleet that need mapping before it can drive. So if they're so sure that vision will work, why are they mapping the areas? We still have the data gathering ability. And then by a year from now, we'll have over a million cars with full self-driving computer, hardware, everything. So they can use all these cars to make the full self-driving better. But what are you going to do about the roads that are not mapped by Google Maps? You have to map the areas. That is the problem. That's why Waymo did this years ago. Quite a good simulation too, but it just does not capture the long tail of weird things that happen in the real world. If the simulation fully captured the real world, that would be proof that we're living in a simulation, I think. Here, Elon is actually saying the right thing. Tesla can capture all the edge cases that happen. An edge case is something unique that happens, which doesn't happen often. Here is an edge case that a guy captured two days ago with Tesla latest full self-driving version. About not even slowing down. I can't, I, can't, I, have, to, I have to slam on the brakes right here. Like, that's how close it is. We go. It's not slowing down. It's not even slowing. It's fuck. It's not even slowing down. Okay, it's dropped down to 54. It's not slowing down though. 53, 52, 51. Uh, it's, I, I gotta. I'm like skidding. 56, 55. There's cars coming. I'm Remember, this is a 2024. We're almost in 2025. That's, that's insane for it to go that fast. So Tesla fanboys. Please be careful out there. You don't want to wind up like this guy. A 40-year-old former Navy SEAL is the first person to die in a crash of a self-driving car. He died in May when his Tesla Model 6 slammed into a turning tractor trailer in Florida. Tesla in self-driving mode started breaking unexpectedly on the Bay Bridge, causing eight cars to pile up. Crash on the Bay Bridge. A Tesla, believed to be on autopilot, started breaking. Traffic was moving well, just after 12.30 in the afternoon. Then, a white Tesla put on its left blinker, moves into the left lane, and stops, causing the car behind it to crash into it, followed by six more cars. One vehicle even gets pushed up against the wall of the bridge. According to CHP, the driver of the Tesla was in full self-driving mode. And this clown is out there in 2014 saying they've had full self-driving next year. A Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot like so 90% of your miles could be on auto is the first person to die in a crash of a self-driving car well, as the model X at this point uh, can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person right now as this 2019 Tesla Model X driving in autopilot mode strikes their vehicles at 54 miles per hour 100 to 200 um, percent safer than a person by the end of next year injuring five officers and hospitalizing the subject of the original traffic stop. I'm really confident uh, of achieving full autonomy uh, and, and releasing it to the Tesla customer base uh, next year. In, in trying to merge in traffic, there is a slight, you know, no, matter, no matter how many, there's a slight chance of a fender bender, not a serious accident. But you can have a slight fender bender, right? <laughs> Light chance of a fender bender, not a serious accident. But guys, it's fine, it's just a fender bender. What is wrong with Elon Musk? So, Tesla fanboys, please don't rely on this system, it's not reliable, it can kill you. In March 2019, he re entered crisis drama mode. 
We have to raise money or we're fucked, he said to Grimes one dawn. He needed to come up with a grand idea that would turn the narrative around and convince investors that Tesla would become the world's most valuable car company. One night he left the light on and just stared into space silently. Every couple hours I would wake up and he was just still sitting there in the thinking man statue pose, just completely silent on the edge of the bed, Grimes said. When she woke up that morning, he said to her, I solved it. The solution, he explained, was for Tesla to host an autonomy day where investors would get a demonstration of how Tesla was building a car that could drive itself. So Elon came up with robot taxi because Tesla was about to go under and it was used to pump up the stock. I also think you're gonna see this robot walking on the event. They'll just install the FSD inside of the robot, it can just move around, because it thinks it's a car. And you'll probably see this robot walking around between the lines, exactly like a car. And Elon's probably gonna promise that you can buy this robot in two years for only $20,000. One robot will be walking and the other one will be standing still and picking up stuff because I've yet to see a robot that walks around and picks up and moves stuff. I'll tell you something I learned by reading two books from an AI scientist and that is that AI sometimes done insanely dumb things and everybody thinks there's a bug they can fix with more data. According to the scientist it's not a bug it's a feature of AI. That's why sometimes it does some insanely stupid things. And we have a car coming around this blind turn. Hey look, an EV6. God, oh my God! And you're thinking, why the hell did that happen? God, and you know oh who God. also talk about this mistake? Whole Mars catalog. Mistakes. And it'll be much stupider things. We'll say, how could it make such a stupid mistake? A human would never make that mistake. God, oh my God! A lot of people think we're like just a car company or we make cool cars or whatever, but uh, they don't have, uh, most people have no idea that Tesla is arguably the, the leader in real world uh, AI hardware and software. Does this look to you like a leader in AI? Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Right in the middle of the road. This is a major regression back to 12.4. And it's still phantom braking in 2024. It's phantom braking, nothing here, just phantom broke, uh, brake. This is um, the worst update. I mean, nothing about this is getting better. I'm, I'm losing faith in autonomous driving with Tesla. Please, Tesla fanboys, do know. not trust this technology. Where are you going, car? I don't know. Intel, it's officially level 5. Please don't trust it. Yay! It's, it's dancing. <laughs> this car is dancing. And it parked. This is a great taxi. It parks in the middle of the parking lot. This stupid thing is still not fixed. Like, instead of going straight that way, this this was doing this on the previous two versions. So stupid. Because it's stupid. Uh, most people have no idea that Tesla is arguably the, the leader in real-world uh, AI hardware and software. And is it going to run the stop sign? It does not stop. The, the leader in real-world uh, AI hardware and software. Make mistakes. And it'll be much stupider things. We'll say, how could it make such a stupid mistake? A human would never make that mistake. Oh, we'll go that way. Nice job. This is beautiful. 12.5.4. Robo taxi ready. Perfect. I love it. We are so close to having autonomous driving. I highly is. recommend you follow this channel on YouTube or on Twitter. He's an honest guy and I like him. He doesn't lie like Omar does. So if Elon and Tesla is unlucky with AI, you can see some insane mistakes in a few hours on the robot taxi event. So these are my guesses of what we're gonna see. It's kind of funny, they're showing this off at Warner Bros. Studio where Waymo is driving around in cities. You know, we've reached over 100,000 uh, rides per week across San Francisco. Phoenix and Los Angeles. And I wonder if Waymo is going to succeed with robot taxis because of the edge cases and the mistakes that happen. Waymo! They turned! No! Oh wow, alright, so this video was taken Friday in Arizona. 
Uh, two women say that they were driving when a Waymo car came into their lane after it made a turn. Uh, the women say that they were worried about a head-on collision, so they got out of the way. They say the driverless car just kept going. If a person made that mistake where it's like they're driving down the wrong side of the road, I don't think you should have your license, you know? That's the thing, like if you pull a Waymo over, like odds are there's probably not gonna be a driver in it. So it's like who is held accountable for those individual mistakes? June 19th, after the officer observed a Waymo going haywire in traffic. I couldn't help but come over just out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. I thought maybe there's a passenger or something. No. Most Waymo cars can be seen throughout the city driving safely and behaving civilly. Erratic driving is not completely out of the question for the artificial intelligence. It was making a ride onto Washington. Almost hit me, I had to swerve into the fast lane. And we all have to thank the central bank who cut rates to 0%, which stimulated EV sales. And the government who gave Elon billions and billions and billions of dollars. Created a jaw-dropping $1.79 billion in regulatory credit revenue last year. That brought the cumulative total Tesla has raked in since 2009 to almost $9 billion. This is why the government shouldn't intervene in the economy. The government bailed out both Fisker and Tesla. Imagine the stupidity and made the Tesla stock a humongous bubble with low interest rates. One thing the government should do is keep us safe. Keep us safe, have the military, keep the courts in order and the police. The rest, the market can take care of that and local laws. Can you imagine? The government did nothing about Tesla full self-driving for over 10 years. 10 years, nothing. And it got me so mad that I started this YouTube channel, which is making me like pennies on the dollar. I've called you the real Tony Stark. Okay, you've got your finger in so many different advanced technologies. As I said, uh, SpaceX, uh, Tesla, now you've got Solar City and the solar pack that people put in their houses. Man, this is the greatest story of our time, of epic mistakes. And you're watching it here on YouTube before it all unravels. And if you like this channel, you can become a member here on YouTube or on Patreon. Thanks for watching.